far, but what do even the elderly care about tomorrow? I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, look. You want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping a veteran. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phone. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> you have a question. Dude, I call every day and I never get through amazing. You do a great show, man. Thanks. What's, uh, what, 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 what's up? Oh, man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. <laughs> and exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay. Get out of it, Queenie. It's, it's just time to go. Okay. Did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude, that B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, Laszlo. I, I appreciate that. You know, that's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts... When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Come. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read... I'm a domesticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me angry. Bad for my karma. Ah! Definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts so I could stand up fully just like you, and I encourage everyone who's there, there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Laszlo, this is your final warning. Do not need me going to my dragon's dance. <laughs> Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I wanted to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. I just can't do a piece. So wonderful. I rejected the topic, you know? I have another ask my life. I stood it around the house with my legs from behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like a freaking exorcist. I even saw the dairy on the top shelf of the fridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs from behind my head now. But I grew weak and start knocking things down with the broom. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. <laughs> you certainly are. Fed up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla, lad, low? Are you in the city? you cool, drop, man. Chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, 
I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. We must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins from organic vegetables. Just don't do much. Get your phone book and have on my bare toes. In fact, Ladlow, I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers and knowing this station it costs a hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks. And now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. Hey ya! Oh! Oh, oh that no! That no! I think I hurt my hand, but I think he's all been the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the death gets still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lazo, my will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruise easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lazo. You can make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the funk swing here. Downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Lazo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? The state we leave in? And that wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees, uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop, Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well whip... cars and a mortgage. My love life was going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm st You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness, and he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford! If he squeals, I squeal! Who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatter... ...in the air. Wow, I got through. But, uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a... What are you doing? And the guy behind me was like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact... Four or five arguments, he's taking the case. He's just killed. He's just killed. And he's just killed. 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 He's just well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in the city calling me on the show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly! Another day right now. The other day I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my friend and my one And this maniac comes right up on my bumper and is blackly white. And I'm like, hey guys, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me honking and flashing your light. Then he gets over this megaphone and says, to the woman in the seal my bargain was trusted me and please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into their car? People are so obnoxious that it's hard for them. And so good for us all. I mean, I call my name. Before I can say the name. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. You don't want to take you to Nanny. Because Freddy needs a Nanny because he's been a very good boy. Oh, oh, nannies. 
Let's go to our next stop. All right. Let's go to our next stop. Marine Corps, Second Battalion. Lazlo, that's all of the military. These kids today have no respect.